So now you can go back to the hotel Roger and that. talk to Geppetto. Now he'll be there. You look so dapper. I do. <laughs> it's much better than yeah. looking like a German shepherd like you were in your playthrough. I looked cute. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> look, dogs, cute. A human wearing a dog mask, not cute. In my personal opinion. You ever he see that YouTube video of realistic door knocking sounds? It's it really door. Where it really sounds like somebody's at your door if you're wearing headphones. Yeah. Ooh, this is cool. Always remember that you're precious to me. Speaking of which. Precious. There's a factory just beyond the Lycia. My friend, factory. the inventor Vinini, went to stop them, but he never came back. We love Vinini. Cutscene. Spaghini. P organs are the source of your powers. Collect <laughs> the tools to get the strength you need. We love the P organ. Why did they call it P organ? It's what defines you as a man. <laughs> They could have chosen any letter. Why did they have to? I mean, obviously, because Pinocchio. It's a translation issue, buddy. <laughs> uh, we can actually just work. So, yeah, so that, that's back at the. Uh, yeah, we're the. Yeah. <laughs> Good <laughs> explanation. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, that's. What the heck did you. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> that's fine. I'll use this one. Finally made it. It's been years. Imagine you could have the ability to teleport and you just used it to travel up and down the stairs because you didn't want to walk <laughs> up the stairs. I know my way, I know my way around a weapon. Come on. I don't heard, do that. I heard that so many times. Okay, so we need to go find the factory. Workshop Union entrance. Hmm. <laughs> oh god, fire pots. <laughs> Where's the ladder? Here it is. Uh -oh. Here it comes. <laughs> Ow. Who is this person? What the heck? <laughs> she pukes. It's a clown that pukes on you. What am I covered in? Boston uh, coconut cream pie? Ooh, nice. Hey. Good hit. All right. Because, like, the other games, like, you mix in dodging and parrying, I would dodge more. And while I'm, like, dodging around him, he would, like, lock onto me as he spins around in the air, jumping towards me. With yes. The yeah, that's <laughs> terrifying. Oh, my gosh. Is that an damage. ambush? Oh, I'm on fire. What the heck? If you roll, it drains the overheat. Ah, oh, I see. I have to stop, drop, and roll. This is like Twilight Zone. Another fine day in the city of Krog, but I wonder, my friend, just where you've been? Oh, oh gosh. Uh, I have no idea. It's a human. <laughs> so, I, as a baby, you crawl on four legs. As an adult man, you uh, walk on two legs. And as an old man, you, you use have a cane. cane. You have three legs. Yes, I have heard of that before. I just couldn't remember it for the life of me. <laughs> that guy keeps going on. Well, that was very odd. I love that guy. So it's just a Riddler who likes to mess with us for some reason. But he gave us a key, which gives us access to some hidden area. Oh, here's the factory. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. I'm not going down there. He's a big boy. <laughs> oh god. Use my electric arm. 
Yeah, they're just like really you know, slow. Is easy. Yeah. Slow and sturdy. Gotcha. So electricity is their weakness. Like that one enemy in Legend of Zelda. The big, slow, creepy things that latch onto you. Salamander dagger. Oh, you, that's very interesting. Are you talking about the Gibdos? The Gibdos, that was it. I like my new electric arm. I'm like, uh, Luigi. In Mario and Luigi <laughs> RPG Thunder. games. Thunder! <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Thunder! You got that stuck in my head now. I love the way it says that. Oh, whoa! That ragdoll went flying. Hold on! Just a garbage pit. One of these guys is gonna drop down, and I know it. It's gonna happen. Something in that box. Uh. Guess we're... Oh no, <laughs> this <laughs> this guy looks bad. He's ready. <laughs> Guess so am I. It's just two tower shields. What are you supposed to? Do? He's that what? He's that one player in Dark Souls that uses two shields. The wall. The wall. It was two tombstones, actually. But yeah, he could only walk. <laughs> Just a well, fake out. Dark Souls game. It's like an ability to. Oh, he is very slow though, which helps. Oh, he it's like a truck. Because I like got the dagger, I was like, "Ooh, I want to use this new weapon, even if it's weak." And like, I fought that guy for, I think, eight minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it took so long. How was Dune? Dune was good. Definitely a slower movie. What the heck? This didn't happen the first time. <laughs> you walked around it. I didn't say anything because I thought you'd fall for it again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Watch your health, buddy. Ooh, yeah. This thing is so unlike everything else that we've seen thus far. Yep. It's like some military grade puppet. Woo! Nice! Alright. Ooh, that was hot. Something's gonna bust through the wall. No. It was <laughs> I'm it's giving me Resident Evil feelings where Mr. X will like bust through the wall or something. This level is very Resident Evil. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this. Something's happened. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that a flaming ball of puppets? I think so. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Guess let's go up rather than down. So funny. What possible factory function does this giant death ball have? I must know. I don't know, it's like draining in the trash, I don't know. <laughs> Lower this, but I'm I'm still not going down there with the giant <laughs> cannonball arms. Something's definitely gonna bust through that wall, it's guaranteed, right? No? Okay. <laughs> you think you know so much. Suspicious. You actually missed a door. I did? In yeah, this hallway? No, right there. No, right in front of you. Go forward. That green door. I can open this? <laughs> you're, nope. you're lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. I don't think I can get up there. 
Uh, maybe I can. It's it's tight. Oh my god! <laughs> that was like terrifying. The worst, the worst place ever. That was terrifying. Oh, this scared the crap out of me. I I totally called it the fire axe. I could be a fireman now. That's sick. Seem to follow me everywhere. What's your deal? Money bags himself, Lorenzini Vanini. You caught us on our return trip. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person. Tried to hire them for a job. Best of luck to you, my... That just didn't happen. Are you carrying the latest edition of Vanini's landmark guide? I so wish you had this, and the price is a steal. <laughs> this... Let me know if you have any interest. This thing probably sucks, but I'll buy it anyway. <laughs> Warning: This book has been banned. Heck yes. Illicit books. What a strange thing to buy off of a unscrupulous individual. Banned literature. You walk past the door. Not that again. Don't don't no, do that to me. No, please. Please listen to me. Please there's listen to there's me. no way you could open no. that door. Okay. No, Corbin. I thought the the other door before was the You door. are full of crap <laughs> and I'm I'm saying I I do not believe for a second that that no, door please. opens. I crossed my heart. I crossed my heart. You know I can't lie when I do that. I can. Why can I open this one? <laughs> but not the other one. Yeah. Well, technically the other one opens. You just have to be on the right side of it. This is foreboding as hell. You know. Welcome to the, the Illuminati. <laughs> let me open the safe first. <laughs> By that I mean pry it off of its hinges. Heck yes, new clothes. Wow. Dapper. Hey, not bad. Okay, what's in the Bill Cipher Necronomicon? You who open the door, be one with the great ones. What's the point of this book? Is it just for lore? Or lore? Okay, gotcha. <laughs> that dice. Oh. Hey bud. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one of these nice, creepy nice. crawlies jump before. Um. Oh. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. It's raining, man. They're just all oh, the <laughs> crawling up the ceiling. So many. I thought there was just a tube leading down. All right, any more of these suckers? Yeah. This is not gonna work, is it? Okay, dude. Hey, okay, look, it worked. Okay. I wonder what that guy's story is. It's just a normal guy. It's like the only normal guy we've seen this entire time. Yeah, that's true. He's the one factory worker who is supervising all of the puppets. He's middle management. Mm -hmm. Saw blade. Okay. Can I attach that to my arm? If so, then I can become Buzzsaw Louie from VeggieTales. Oh my... <laughs> that's, that's... Never mind. I'm fighting a boiler. Poops fire. Ooh, nice. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Never fought a living boiler before. So, fun fact. Um, the first patch that this game had, and I played after that first patch, that guy had like an overpowered move that would stun lock you to where if he hit you once, he would just keep slapping you with a shovel over and over again while you're on the ground until you die. <laughs> <laughs> Man. It was, uh, it was directly addressed by the creators in video form. He's like, all of you who've played the game may be familiar with the guy who goes and he's like imitating just <laughs> the shovel slapping. <laughs> Nice. He's like, we've we fixed it. I'm glad you're here to tell me all this stuff that was in like the beta version or the newly released version, because this was just yeah. stuff I I would never know. Notice how the poison is gone, by the way. Poison? Oh yes. That lever you pulled. Oh perfect. It drained the poison. I beat him with the poison because I'm stupid. <laughs> just. Well, I thought like, oh, you know, poison's part of the challenge. Yeah. Go go go. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they gave it a uh, a changed model for when it catches on fire. Also, I'm so dead. <laughs> 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 I 
Apparently when you have your back up against a wall, you clank on the wall. Nice. Okay. There you go. Hmm, I wonder what's There's in that hole. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just loot. All the loot in the world. We should go back and jump down there. <laughs> Alright, let's go through the so Mario Kart actually... pipe. Yeah, for that one Mario Kart DS like battle track. Yes. That was my favorite. Yeah. I love delay trap one. bananas when you exited the thing. Oh. I like I like the block port. I don't like these guys. These ones are just left for dead spitters. You think just because Miyazaki wasn't behind this game you'd avoid the poison swamp? <laughs> no, my friend. They remain. <laughs> oh boy. There's always a poison swamp. Mm-hmm. Always. I think it's like a cruel joke they do. <laughs> a cruel joke that just gets funnier every time you do it. Dang, son. All right. That was, that was top tier. Well, you got pooped on. I mean, pooped on. I'm not even I mean, sure what the substance is. It slows me down, though. It's like glue. Chick fil A sauce. <laughs> Falling out of the bloody pipe. Ah, nothing like just waiting around in filth. That's kind of like what everything was back in the day. Because of chamber pots and everything, there was just poop everywhere in an urban environment. In fact, I think in America, before the car existed, uh, the government like held a meeting just to figure out what to do uh, with all the horse dung that would pile up in the roads. Because it was, it was a serious problem. It does make sense. If we went back to medieval times, everything would smell awful. Thankfully, we live in present yes. times where we can smell Axe body spray, which is the best scent yeah. known to man. People smell pretty dang good nowadays. You don't realize how good people <laughs> smell you... <laughs> until you're around normal smelling people. Are you smelling people? Yeah, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's only something you notice if someone smells awful or if they're wearing a too strong a perfume. So apparently I had a quote that I wrote down forever ago that I said, it's pretty dang funny, so I'm gonna read that to you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if you are what you eat, then my client is a small innocent child. <laughs> I have heard this one before. It's awful. <laughs> cool. I'm having the time of my life right now. I'm glad you actually were available because I got home from church after lunch and I was so tired and I was like, I can't fall asleep. I'm, I have work to do later today. and If I fall asleep, I'm gonna be unproductive all day. So I was like, I need to, Hop online with Corbin now. <laughs> I'm now glad to help you the, uh... somehow be productive by somehow playing this game together. Hmm. How do I fight this thing? <laughs> a bit of the future. Oh, it's like a big arch. This is hmm. What's your attacks, buddy? Big stomp, okay. So it's just really slow. Okay. All right, this, this shouldn't be too bad. As long as I dodge out of the... <laughs> He's doing like monkey stomps. This guy's kind of a, uh, a disappointment. Yeah, he's chump he change. Looks like he'll be cool, but he's, uh, he's easy. Slow as hell. Shoot. That didn't- I'm surprised that didn't even hit me. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the booster glade! Yes, this weapon's fun. Because the heavy attacks on some of the weapons are just cool. I need to go across that pipe, but I don't know how to lower it. How, how dost I lower this pipe? It's a shortcut, to... buddy. So, once you get to the other side, you're able to lower it. Ah, okay. Did you ever watch Legend of Korra? It sort of gets into this Victorian-like age, kind of like this game. There's one character named Varric, who's an eccentric millionaire inventor. So it, mm -hmm. this guy's just giving me similar ideas. He is a lot like him. Put yourself together. Have a duty to this city. Hey. Thanks. Down here. I can't talk. <laughs> Caution, I, acid. I love these living boilers. Yeah, they're cool. Super cool looking. It's like they shovel coal into themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting mental image. I can't jump. How am I supposed to get over there? So, fun fact. You can jump. What? How? I you... don't know. What do you mean I you forget. don't know? <laughs> it is 
the most underused mechanic in the game. It is used twice. Shoot. Nope. We need to. But it's also like literally just guy. a a button input, <laughs> which is hilarious because I didn't know it existed until halfway through the game. <laughs> oh, he's coming up the stairs. <laughs> he's coming. Hey, Stargazer. He's still coming. He's, uh... Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. Uh, I guess I'll fight him. And you know, let's run past him. See if we can get to the thing before he can get up the stairs. No, he's very fast. Here he comes. <laughs> Come on, let's activate it. Okay, perfect. Oh, well, here's Barrick. Or what is his name? Benini. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. Fear. Fear. <laughs> so I need to find his butler. Let's figure out how to jump. Left stick, I guess. Left analog stick. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's, that is a very neat. It's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> I was wondering if I could perfect hey. parry those. Butler's got to be down here for sure. That nice and generic. This is an iPhone alarm sound. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to charge my iPod on a speaker, so whenever my morning alarm went off, <laughs> it would blast this through the speaker. Welcome to Foy Coco. Which is the name of a Pokemon, but I like calling him Boy Coco. <laughs> oh, this is the boss from the trailer. From yeah. the um, demo gameplay. What is this thing supposed to be? King's Flame. Fue Coco. Fue <laughs> Coco. I. Yeah. Dang, son. That's a heavy hit. <laughs> Let's definitely dodge this guy. He's a Beyblade. <laughs> He's letting it rip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Surprisingly agile for this giant boiler. He's a dandy old time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, let's test out those new weapons that we got. Uh, we have the, f the fire axe. Um, and the Booster glaive glaives. blade. Oh, yeah. this thing's crazy. <laughs> Swang a little close to that guy. Whoa, it's like fire. It and boosts you forward. <laughs> it's so cool. Awesome. Just a You know what's cool? You can attach that handle to any weapon, blade, and then you can boost forward with the heavy attack because of it. Awesome. And then we have an axe. <laughs> Pretty standard. I like it though. Also, you have your electric hand, your electric weapon, your electric personality. What does it mean to have an electric personality? Your enthusiasm is infectious? I like to think you tase people when you're interacting with them. <laughs> I love- That is the biggest fist ever. <laughs> I love getting punched into the ground, it's just always funny to me. I love he has like a blunderbuss for one of his arms. Yeah, is he's got to fire it one of these times. Or it might be a flamethrower. I'm way too late on my parries. <laughs> I'm trying to parry him. <laughs> I'm just like a split second too late each time. Even just dodging just to learn the timing. I'll oh yes, dodging. Because he's a very... He's a slow, heavy hitter, so that's incredibly difficult to predict his parries. <laughs> that's fair. I should just dodge him. I love these enemies, though. It's just funky steampunk. Oh, cool. Woohoohoo! Nice. Goodness 
gracious. <laughs> he really does smack you, don't he? Yep. Yes. Oh, he got him in time. <laughs> Oop. There you go. Awesome. Nice. All right. Second phase, baby. Or not. He's going to do this instead. Actually, does he have a second phase? He's, no, just, he's just charging. I think it just introduces a couple new attacks. Like this one. Oh. <laughs> I'm on fire. Oh, he's... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. I am on fire. Come on. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Gosh. He's <laughs> <laughs> knocking over everything. Awesome. Well done. Sick. That was cool. Nice. Really like that one. The shame for me is that I didn't get to experience him until New Game Plus. Why? Because I, I beat him first time. First try. <laughs> what do we have Basic. here? A broken ah. butler puppet. <laughs> ah, you're back. See you later. Well, he shut down the puppet production facility, so now they won't keep creating a lot of puppets to kill everyone. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, still in operation, just creating more of these yeah. suckers. That big guy, Foy Coco or whatever, was keeping the place running. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> capital One. Capital One. Capital One. Is that a bomb? <laughs> Why does well, this one have hair? Chance. No, he looks like that that one toy from Toy Story. Yeah, I know movie. exactly what yeah. you're thinking about. The spider yeah. hybrid that Sid created. Mm -hmm. oh, it's good to be back in nature. It's the boys. Just mining with the boys. This feels very Half-Life. Especially the burning barrel. Your, um, your weapon, on the top left, it's marked with like a tier 1 symbol earlier it said tier two i i forget what that means oh <laughs> lord so that was a bomb barrel i wonder what that tier means i forget <laughs> <laughs> oh that never happened to me that's funny going into the mines what are there you're into the mines <laughs> this guy's gonna shoot this barrel i know it Not exactly. Maybe I'll just run past it. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, yes, the fire mechanic. In most games, they put fire particles around the edges of the screen when you're on fire. It's a little bit less obvious here. Operation Recover the Ergo is a go. Ah, they put them behind there. Well, here comes the lads. <laughs> that guy wants no part he, of this. He knows better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Almost teleported. <gasps> we got a pipe wrench. <gasps> it's massive. <laughs> All right. This thing's awesome. 
I can't use it though. I don't I don't have a strength built. I will say you've gone pretty good at the parry. Well, these guys are pretty easy. They have a standard attack that's just like oh well not that one. <laughs> There's something really, really funny to me of you're getting attacked by a guy, you lock onto an explosive barrel, and you're slowly like swinging as you're stepping towards the barrel. It just gives me anxiety. <laughs> What? What are you doing here, sir? Okay, so this is what the problem was. They actually didn't change the guy. When you got knocked to the ground, you weren't able to get back up or dodge roll out of it. And that wasn't a mechanic they added until after one. So, that's what it was. I remember now. There's gotta be a checkpoint up here, right? Yes, perfect. Why don't we go spend these souls, hmm? Expressionless. I like how she turned around. She was like on a Lazy Susan. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's just a little disc underneath there with like ball bearings. I like Zabros. Insane. He kind of looks like one of the Half-Life scientists. Bonjour, and welcome to the house of Benini. I am certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. He so snapped. Benini. Yeah, that was awesome. And then I can make my grindstone give my weapon powers. So. Yes. So, what there do you do, you sir? Are, my boy. Ah, but listen to me going on and on it's about my... Benini. Concern. If the name Benini rings no bells, perhaps you've heard of... Why I sincerely This guy's very long-winded. I love how he gives you a finger gun while his hands do it. Yeah, he does have a good gesture. So the special grindstone, look at the... Oh. Yeah. Ah, okay. There you go. Very neat. I have electric axe. Perfect. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so if there's a really hard attack, it's like... It feels like a JoJo pose. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Just like... <laughs> How about the pipe handle and the lathe blade? Ah, this looks like a buster sword. <laughs> it does. You can actually try the booster blade since it's kind of medium oh, yeah. speed and then it, the heavy attack like boosts forward, which is pretty cool. Booster X. <laughs> okay, it's pretty funky looking. <laughs> yeah, <it looks> really... <laughs> I feel like the front part of it would block the most of the blade from going into something, you know? Yeah. But I, I like the axe head. Something about it. It's calling to me. What if I put it on the dagger? <laughs> how, how short is this weapon going to be? This is like a little mini hatchet you take camping with you. Oh, and I stab with it. You that makes no sense. We need a craft yeah. machine. Craft machine? Oh. Oh, they highlighted it. Oh, what a nice touch. Awesome. Flame arm. Oh, these are the different arms you can have. Okay. But you can't get the flame thing. I'm going to mess around with the fire one for a bit. You have the fire one. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, this is evil. Just putting it by a bunch of explosive barrels. Okay, there we go. You're good. Oh, that's another one. Two? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's really smart, actually. Die, butterfly. <laughs> that was actually really smart. I feel worse nice. burning it to death, but oh well. <laughs> Resplendent. <gasps> it's the word you can't say, Connor. I forgot about that. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be... ...splendent. <laughs> What's Again. wrong? You can't say the I've word resplendent? I've never seen that word in my life. I've seen I've it. I've never seen that word in my life. I forgot about that <laughs> Now every time I see the word resplendent, it makes me laugh. It, it makes me pause every time. Run away. Run away. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Like, for the damage it does? Oh god. It's pretty good. We're, we've been locked it's in exact. the hell in a cell. <laughs> Let's find a good corner. Yes, the corner. That's a great idea. <laughs> I'm so oh god. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. It's like a whole castle up there. A waterfall. Yeah. I I can't wait to get up there. Okay. Let's start with this guy. Alright. 
Alright. Alright, we're fine. We are good. His head's on backwards. <laughs> Watch out. These pitchfork guys do a surprising amount of damage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dead. That's... Oh god. <laughs> Why are these pitchforks so lethal? I should get a pitchfork as my weapon since they're so effective. You know what's cool? So you didn't pick up your stuff the last time you died? Yeah, I know. I lost it. But, but, no, but notice in the top right, you, uh... You can still, like, get up most of it back, actually. Oh, well. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> when you die, after not picking up your stuff, you don't lose all of your stuff. Oh, that's good. Jump. Oh, yeah, I forgot you could jump. I will do that next time. Okay, let's just focus on the pitchfork, guys. Nice. Everything and everyone who is pitchfork must die. Can't believe I died in this shack three times. I did too. Dude, I died in this shack probably more times than that. <laughs> this guy looks very intimidating with that weapon. Do you want to go up, child? I'm sorry, but the train isn't in service anymore. I didn't expect such formality. The cathedral isn't the sanctuary it once was. <laughs> it made me laugh so the hard about right this. Are you a stalker? Do nothing. I don't have an option. Oh, you didn't unlock the stalker salute because you didn't find it at the factory. Yeah. If I let you go up there, that will only compound my sin. Oh my gosh. Child. What? This is insane. <laughs> so yeah, there's a... There's an NPC boss at the factory that you didn't find that, uh... Who... They themselves are pretty hard. And they unlock the stalker salute. I thought I, I... I thought I hit everything in the factory. Oh my gosh. Fun fact, I never even fought this person because I learned the stalker salute. <laughs> like, this is bad. I'm so dead. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's where I thought it was. There's this uh, NPC mini boss at the factory. If you find him. Nice. Okay, I wonder if I can talk to her again or not. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's gracious. <laughs> Dang. You'll soon find out. Falling down here is such a I hate this move. <laughs> this weapon is way too slow for this this fight. I do not wish to witness war. Oh, what a combo though. Let's go back to the hotel and uh, upgrade the axe really quick. And this gives me uh, the ability to have an electric axe. Or it could set the fire axe on fire. <laughs> Fight fire with fire. She has the axe on her table. She always did. She just refused to give it to me. Swagger. Oh, I Swagger. have that emote. <laughs> what? That's not <laughs> swagger at all. What a what a weird one. I thought he was going to do a point, but it's more like he's throwing a tamper tantrum. Oh, she does move. How does she just mm -hmm. move? Okay, I guess that's cool, I guess. And that's normal human behavior. <laughs> but um, I've, no other NPC does that. Feel the power, taste the rainbow. I'm out of Hershey's cookies and cream bars, and I'm so sad. You had multiple of them? Oh, I, I bought a large box full, and I was having a... <laughs> what? A few. I was having like two a day for like a week. <laughs> and then... You bought a large box of Hershey's cookies and cream bars? Well, like, not an entire box. Well, I bought the rest of what remained in the box. Did you buy the them, like, like, individually? Them. Like, you you picked them out individually, like, 13 bars. They didn't come in a package. No, like, I, I, car I carried the box that they were sitting in. Right, but normally like people would walk and up and grab one and then purchase it, right? But you just grabbed the whole box <laughs> and bought yeah, I just 13. The box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did the cashier give you any looks or anything? No. What store was this at? 
This is a campus, like, tiny, I don't know, counter store. Like you would find at a gas station, but <laughs> we have one on campus. That's hilarious. They ain't Mignon axe. They ain't Mignon axe. Face the wrath of my fire axe. Fire to the second power. Woo! Dang, son. Oh, she's ready. She's on fire, too. Perfect. Look at her go. Ooh. Perfect. We got her mask too. <laughs> All of the masks in this game are awful. Why would you ever wear them? Oh, we have, we have zombies now. Uh, Welcome to Resident Evil. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Good news is, they're weak to fire. Perfect. When puppets are weak to electricity, these guys are weak to fire. This guy's wigging out. <laughs> Well, maybe because a giant er ergo goo or whatever is coming out of his brain hole. Okay. Just, just keep going. Yeah, they got they got combos. Zombie combos, aka zombos. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you what? You don't My favorite seem game amused. Up, zombinis. <laughs> I love to drive that special vehicle on the ice at the ice rink, the zomboni. I love the zomboni. <laughs> Okay, so now there's a religious element to this whole thing. Going to a cathedral. Wait a minute, can I set this on fire? And it unlocks a secret? Because <laughs> only one of them's on fire? Probably not. It makes like a Zelda. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. So satisfying of a sound. Ah, mercy, I beg you, don't kill me. I'm an alk. Uh, a pharmacist. Yes, <laughs> a pharmacist. pharmacist. I have the petrification disease ah. and I need a cure. Whoa. So. This is the worst mechanic in the game. <laughs> what? Um, it means nothing. It's useless. It tries to be something, but it's not. Here's a, an additional healing thing, but it can either do a tiny bit of recovery, or it could help you keep more stamina. It doesn't refresh at the Stargazer. You use it, and then it's gone forever. And then you have to talk to that guy to get another one. The ability itself barely does anything. It's a bloodbath out here. Welcome to Bloodborne. It's, it's puppets versus zombies. Oh, now now it's just all the zombies. Now they're just <laughs> I love their walk. <laughs> yep, another day. Oh, these guys. It's a good thing they're running at you one by one. My turn! <laughs> ah! <laughs> one at a time, gentlemen. <laughs> He's doing a shoulder shake. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Oh, this is... I can't get out of this. Couldn't move. Yeah. Duck this one! Scary. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> there goes the set. This cathedral is insane. Oh yeah, this is cool. You gotta stop and smell the flowers. Uh, what is cool is that from the right angles in every like area, you can see the other areas if you're high enough. That's great. It's kind of cool. One game that really just made me stop and look for a while was Doom Eternal. That, those are probably the prettiest maps I've ever oh, seen yeah. in a game they ever. They are awesome. So cool. Beautiful. Welcome to church. Happy Sunday. Catholic church. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was underwhelming. Is that a, the bishop? Spooby. 
junk at me. <laughs> I love this the aesthetics of this place. Yeah, it's doing well. well I almost got Ooh, bodied. It's awesome though. It's, it's that's why they had the waterfall so we can have these creating power. Good storytelling. Oh good. <laughs> more death <laughs> more death balls. That's just normal. Uh, it's kind of dubious. Oof. Way too close for comfort. Yes. Gotta heal quick. Woo! Yeah, I died there to that lady. Checkpoint? No, not yet. Please let there be a checkpoint up here. You know, I have something better than a checkpoint for you. A shortcut? How does platforming sound? <laughs> I mean, technically you could do it with the other thing, it's just riskier. This seems ill-advised. Yeah. Find the checkpoint first. I, I see one. No wait. Ah, uh, that's not it. That is not that is a checkpoint. Not Do not go in there. <laughs> as soon as I realized it was a dead body, I was like, "Oh There's no." Never. Yeah. Let's explore. I have a feeling you're going to be rewarded. Oh. Nice. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. Good thinking, brother. <gasps> Hey, cool. You have to make sure it's not a mimic. Whoa! Whoa. Ooh. Iron Man's double speed spear. It has a saw blade on the handle. Okay, kind of like oh, a rapier. It's a quick step, long reach spear. If I get hit with anything I mean, in the next room, I'm dead. Basically. I mean, at that point, you're at the beginning of like this entire climb anyway, so. I'm so dead. Alright. Falling on air. Let's go get my souls first. I mean, ergo, sorry. No, you mean runes. <laughs> runes. Runes. <laughs> His head's wigging out. <laughs> it's just, it's just giant. <laughs> wow. All right, come Welcome at. Welcome to Big Chungus. He has a shield. Ooh, good dodge. Mm. This guy's bad news. He's defensive and aggressive. This is terrible. <laughs> Let's at least pick this up. Cat dust? <laughs> what is that? Dum -de -dum -de -dum. <laughs> Did somebody have a cat funeral and this is like their cat ashes? I guess I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, I need to make my fire axe on fire. Something, something, something. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. And when it's used by you, Pinocchio, it's the liar axe. Great. Fantastic. How long did it take you to think of that one? Uh, just now. Do you know how many times I died climbing this tower? The fact that you are here and you unlock that elevator without dying eight times is infuriating to me. Door. If only I could door faster. <laughs> to door. Door. door the verb. Door the explorer. Crafted cryptic vessel. You can get Vani to uh, decode it. A hidden They're clue. Like the da Vinci code. <laughs> yeah. Where in this game is the island where I can indulge all my vices, like in the original Pinocchio? Oh my gosh, that exists. That is here. That is in this game. <laughs> okay, perfect. I I did not remember that in the original Pinocchio. I thought it was just a cool thing they did in this game. <laughs> Shield blocks from the thermite. 
nice. Shoot. Perfect. Nice. Good job, dude. All right. Door Odor. Door Odor. I kind of wish there was a message system in this game, like there was with uh, the Souls games. That, yeah. I I did love those messages where it's just like there's a huge door and you see three messages outside of it, and you, you read them and it's like you don't have the right and you don't have the right. Also, you don't have the right. Yeah. And then it says Door Odor. It just a door. <laughs> It's just like, I don't know what to take from this. Yeah, there's something funny about the limitation people have to communicate using preset the words. The fact that the word dog was placed outside of every single turtle in the game is hilarious <laughs> to me. Socrates, do no harm. Caesar! <laughs> Well, let's give him the vessel first. A cryptic vessel. Strike the puppet hanging from the alchemist bridge. Welcome to Hotel Prop. This is a supply box. I shall open it. Oh, okay. Got dark moon moonstones. Another quartz. Hmm. An apple. Just a regular apple? How strange. Okay. What? It's delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the apple. You don't get to use it, no. What? It's like a, it's like a special quest item thing. Uh, okay. We have to give it to what some witch later to poison to some fair maiden. You know... You're not far off. <laughs> I want to spend my vacation at the library. How you like the game so far, buddy? Oh, it's great. It's great. As soon as I got the mechanics right. down and understood that you can get invincibility frames by dodging, everything became a lot easier. <laughs> oh man, that kills me. It truly is nonsensical. I I should have known. That's a good... oh. oh, what the heck was that? Booby traps. How, how cleverly designed. Oh, I forgot to do the treasure map thing. Remind me to go grab that puppet from yeah, the treasure I'll map. Yeah, I'll remind you later. Hmm. This is, this is not good. Hell. <laughs> What's up here? <laughs> <laughs> This thing's just screaming everywhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. You know what? It's a dead end. I think I need this. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, my word. Hey, look. Animation. That'll help. You know what? Let's do this. <laughs> oh no, wait, this area's locked off. I should have jumped to the other side. <laughs> wow, you sure told them. <laughs> it's still locked, is it? Dang it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're supposed to unlock it from the other side, you know, normally. Oh, by the way, while you get hit, you lose some of the ergo that you have to recover. Oh, really? That's interesting. Why do you... why do you do this? I don't <laughs> want to do with that guy. This. Let's just get our souls. Here okay. he comes. Yeah, well, I guess we're gonna have to face him now. You can unlock the door, I guess, at least. Yes, please. Sick. Resplendent ergo fragment. <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> do, 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 Imagine do, wearing do, these do, long do. white socks and we just trudge through muck. It'd be so soaked and ruined. Like that. Did you ever actually get the thing inside the safe? No. Uh, I did pry the door bit. off. Good. Hey, the holy mark. Let's go give that to Nun Bay. 
Let's not call a nun a bay. I think that's slightly <laughs> improper. I wonder if her name is Yabiness. So like her official title is Nun Yabiness. That was awful. <laughs> anyway. But I respect you. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Give me a heart attack. I am so confused. You have walked by a giant glowing elevator like nine times. But that one? <laughs> oh. I thought it just led to a dead end. I thought it was a bricked up door. <laughs> it helps to have you here, because then you could just tell me of the weird stuff I miss. I can't find the way out. Well, especially because you don't want to miss this guy. I need to grab my share and leave. Oh, this is awesome. Like, this guy's important. Oh, because he wears the dog mask and you like him. Also, he gives you boss weapons. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I thought I was the only one with a sound mind here. I'm sure I don't need to introduce myself? You don't know who I am. Preposterous! Everyone in Krat has heard of me. Do you live under a rock? <laughs> I'm Alidoro the Hound. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. Yes, yes, it's a nickname. I ditched my real name in the past. <laughs> I'm I love how high and low status this guy is. This disaster. <laughs> Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know, civilized. Hmm. I. Oh. All right, you can come to the hotel. Hotel Croft. This is probably a bad idea to invite him to the hotel. You've gone very silent, Connor. Connor, are you okay? You have now. Unlocked the bad ending of the game. I'm just joking. Oh, uh, you you so sent the right thing. You said you made you me right scared. Thing. For yeah, I, I know. I like. I, I fear. I did not purpose. I did not purpose. Oh, so like a pain I went through my chest. To, I was sent into the factory because I too thought it was a bad idea. But it turns out I did the wrong thing. You're supposed. He's he's a friend. Like he's supposed to be a friend. And if you send him to Vanini Works at Factory, you're like, this place is dangerous as hell. He's like, I'll give you one last chance. Where should I go? And then I had the chance to like make it right and invite him to hope. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. With the bosses you beat, you can now uh, unlock specialty weapons or an amulet. You choose one or the other. Oh. Keep in mind, though, these amulets are very heavy. Let's get the umbrella and then let's move on. Throughout a lot of the game, I kept going back to it, yeah. <laughs> It is just a sharp umbrella. <laughs> so it gives you a guard on the heavy weapon. That's how attack or the heavy attack. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Just seeing the artificial is a reminder of the quiet power of faith. So if you like rest and or travel and come back, it's a reminder of she like leaves and she leaves extra stuff. Let's go get that puppet on the bridge. Oh. This area is now lit up now. Well, it's a different time, yeah. Yeah. Every time you go into a new area, it sets a different time of day. Where was this? Oh gosh, this was like Super Mario Galaxy when you needed to find Luigi and he would send a letter to your Wii inbox with like a picture. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, it is weird seeing at this time. I didn't come back here at this time. So yeah, it's so weird. It, they changed the whole world. Like changes the atmosphere. Yeah. That was an animation cancel right there. I'm just joking. That was so cool. You like, you like gently walked and floated down. <laughs> Master of his craft. Don't you dare die. Well. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here's the door. 221B. Wait, isn't that Sherlock Holmes' address? This Baker Street. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, 221B. We're in Sherlock Holmes' house. This is Sherlock Holmes' oh. jacket. He died, tragically, in this timeline. Here's the boss. You all ready? For this. Oh boy. Oh, 
god. Oh, it has a mask for her face. <laughs> just look like you're kinda cute. Just looking at each other. Oh, what a pretty boy. I guess I'll leave now. You're fine. I saw you in that movie Dune once. <laughs> She's a real, a real Dune fan. Oh. Here goes the mask. I think he's nice. Well. Disgusting. This will probably be one of the grosser bosses. This it. isn't even the same creature. So it, it, so it threw down this creature. No, it's not. This, well, is, kind of this isn't the mask lady. We'll find out. Hmm. <laughs> this is the most souls like boss. In yeah. The, probably this <laughs> Oh, this is gross. Is it Andreas? It is Andreas. <laughs> yeah, Archbishop Andreas. I like to make that joke sometimes where it's like, I need the money to pay off my loan shark, Andre, who I meet behind the building <laughs> after work, or he'll break my oh kneecaps. My God. That's hilarious. <laughs> In which I failed to parry anything. <laughs> okay. What are those self-help books saying? To fail more and to fail fast so that you learn from your what? failures and then you just keep moving on. I don't know. I don't I don't read self-help books, but that's kind of the fail gist of them. Fail fast. Yeah. Most of those self-help books, it's just they recommend for you to start a business and their personality type is like they love to start businesses, doesn't apply to other people. Ow. What <laughs> is this? <laughs> So strange. It has like a shell. Just poke it in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that stunned it. I think that was like a normal stagger that happens when you're just attacking boss normally. We. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Get liked. The grossness level is certainly maximum on this boss. Like when I saw this, I was like, well, that's probably the nastiest creature I can imagine. <laughs> It's got, it's got wave dash. <laughs> okay. I will say your weapons are not upgraded. Oh, you think the I'm quantity of materials you have? You think I'm under levels for this? Your your weapons are definitely under levels for this. <laughs> okay. This is an interesting weapon combo. Yeah, these nice. are just the base weapons. It's the rapier with the heavy sword hilt. I only have this combo just because I can essentially perfect parry with one meter on this hilt. Oh yeah. So it just means any red attack, I can just expend a little bit of meter to automatically pass it. That's just super useful. You have one ergo. <laughs> one. Singular ergo. So the lesion plugs can give you one of these arms. Okay, so there's plant bombs, there's firing acid, there's a shield. 
it's and it explodes age slash that Pokemon. <laughs> and then there's just having a gun, which the sounds cannon. having a cannon for an arm sounds awesome. So I'm definitely getting that one. <laughs> nice. I'm like That's Mega cool. Man now. Mega Man. <laughs> that stance he takes. <laughs> <laughs> Question is, what do I want to fight this boss I with? I might just stick with the axe, Whatever. to be honest. Whatever feels good, brother. Maybe let's put the axe head on the charge handle. It's still pretty slow, but hopefully I can use the charge to my advantage. The basic attack is really bad on this. It doesn't have much range, which makes it easier to whiff, I guess. Woo! But that's pretty nice, I gotta say. <laughs> that booster blade is a nice touch. Phase two? Question mark. That was too easy. Welcome to the jungle. Cool, you grew horns, man. Good for you. Oh. There he is. Oh, I see. Ooh, good shaka. The Archbishop was inside there all along. Oh no. That explains the mask. <laughs> right. Oof, all right. Oh, we can speak. <laughs> I love this shuffle he's doing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so goofy looking. So fun fact, you can still fight this side if you want to. Oh. How? It's like, if you run around to certain sides of them, you can fight the Pope side or this side. How interesting. Yeah. Oh, apparently not. Well, he switches sometimes, so. <laughs> I don't think I ever learned the Pope side. So ridiculous. I was just looking. like, yeah, this guy's funny. I haven't been using my cannon arm this whole time. Oh, I have to, like, manually fire it? No, they created a sequel to the pasta station at the camp. Pasta 2? It's called Pasta Station 2. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's insane. We got breadsticks and pasta never him. I think I might put the axe blade on something else a little bit faster. So you had one pasta station in the cafeteria, and they're like, we're going to put another pasta station in there. Well, no, it's the, it's the same one. So, so it's like the sequel. Why is it the sequel, though? Because uh, the, the first one's gone. But it's still a swinging weapon. <laughs> like, like, that's ridiculous. I can throw saw blades. Or pipes? This is the only Souls-like game to where... Technically, you could beat the whole game with only consumable bolts. Really? Why, somebody create a video on that? Yep. It's a great video. Because there's a limited amount of, like, these throwables. Like, you can't just buy all of them. I 
again. Oh gosh. <laughs> He's so stompy. He's such a stompy boy. <laughs> That's Carl! He likes to do his stomping. <laughs> In the evening sometimes. Don't mind him. This is only phase one. All these stacks of books are awful to me. It's like truly something insane and deranged happened around here. Because they just took them all off the shelves and stacked them. Like you'd be able to use them <laughs> some way. Shape or form. I, like that's I have a, a professor who doesn't have enough room to store his books so he just has dozens. If not over a hundred just stacked in his tiny office. It's a nightmare to organize. <laughs> it is crazy. He only has five moves and I know them all. But yet... Here we are. <laughs> This run's already over. Like, I have no heals, and I, I haven't even damaged him at all, so... I don't know, you can practice some of these moves. Let's admire this room. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't finished the sentence. It's a lot of bookshelves with this. no books. Imagine having a house full of bookshelves, but with no books on them. Like, there's nothing on them. They're completely bare. Wouldn't that creep someone out if they came into your house? If there was one book, one red book on one shelf. And what would it be? How to read. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect, a that book. is a perfect joke. Oh, interesting. That's a hitbox I didn't know existed. Tongue, dang it. Oh, that was yeah. weird. He's scared. Oh, he's got you in the corner now. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. This doesn't, doesn't matter. I have no HP for second phase. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Kill it with fire. I hate bugs. thought about how when you get old enough you're gonna have to like shop for your own coffin or or is that like something your family does shop for your own coffin oh yes yeah. you can you can prep it in advance typically it's just the burial plot though but i think you could probably pre-order a coffin it's good idea in estate planning to do that ahead of time because the funeral business kind of preys on people being like oh buy a really nice coffin for your loved one Oh, it seemed a little iffy to me. Yep. I think I've been hit with this tongue every single time. You parried it once. <laughs> what a weird little tiny, like, hoppy dip. Yeah, it was. Alright. Second base. And you gotta heal. This place to the ground. <laughs> if I can't kill him, I will kill everything he likes about this place. Just tear down all the paintings. When you catch him on fire and you proceed to do damage, like through it all, you just do like basically twice as much damage as you got and twice as fast. It's great. Eat him to herself. Clever use of the guard. It just helps. If you parry it, it takes a while to recover. The most efficient way to like do more damage. I can't see anything. You can run around to his butt if you want to, if you don't want to attack the side. Yeah, he's giving me trouble. You have to unlock off of the Pope's side, bro. You lock onto the beastly side. I can't tell what's happening. Nice. 
nice. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? Okay, so he released a death beam out his front and then a big shockwave out his back. I will say, this axe has a lot more weapon durability than, I guess, a lot of the dexterity weapons. Yeah, I haven't really had to, to like, do anything about it. In dex weapons, you have to like use the grindstone mid-battle, but uh, here you know. That he is. He is the one with wings. And I am Pinocchio. <laughs> it's different moves. Oh, yeah. Keep in mind, you're locked onto his butt while fighting his butt. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I have a sliver of health right now. <laughs> hey, you're doing pretty good though. Maybe I should buy some more consumables to keep my uh, flame axe flaming the whole time. Or maybe I can find I some can. shirt with like I... flames on it that gives me flame power the whole time. Like Guy Fieri. I bet there's a mod. <laughs> <laughs> Cat dust. Oh, I see. This lets you be sneaky. You need something else to give me an edge. Perhaps a costume change. This man's a wizard. Okay, the nose is new. <laughs> yeah, it's really dumb. I can oh, cosplay as the I girl from the big like... comfy couch. Or I can be the Onceler from the new Lorax movie. Oh, man! So close! This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's so dumb. I hate the Santa hat because it's just like a perfect cone. It's not like it doesn't have a ball on the end of it or something. It's just a gnome hat. I'm back, sucker. And I've got Riz. <laughs> if you die quicker this round, <laughs> I think that size right there. Oh man, this costume makes me feel like I want to die. You know what's another thing to consider? You technically have the Salamander Blade Dagger as well, where that has just oh, a you're right. automatic flame blade. Why didn't I think of that? In you wouldn't have to worry about the uh, getting all your damage in during the vines. You might even actually be able to attach it to the fire axe handle and just have almost nearly the same weapon, except it just always does fire damage. It's a good idea. Maybe. Time for butt wonkage. <laughs> it was our butt that was want. Good work. Might help being more arcane based too, so I'll just do more damage. That's better. true. I am arcane based. Which is cool, because whenever you do like inflict fire, it does so much more damage. <laughs> Alright. Fire stick is fiery. Okay, I, I hate this costume. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, let's go feral. Why not? Alright. I'm back. Let's see how this works. Theoretically, it's just the same weapon. You, you're trying to put a fire bridge. <laughs> oh, yeah. On fire weapon. Hey, could I put electricity on fire and then have both? Nope. Sorry. That'd be overpowered. How long did it take you to finish this boss? A few attempts. Just a few? Gosh. We've been, I, we've been here like an hour. And that's mostly because I've played a lot of these games. Nice. You say nice every time, I get that. It makes me happy. <laughs> I'm a happy boy. I'm a happy boy! Nice. He's using it. He's using it. <laughs> hey, nice. Nice! Nice! <laughs> nice, yeah. Oh, not this again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I just have to stay close to him when that happens. Well, not really. Oh, okay. That's a tricky one. Alright, like I'll just parry it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dang, son. I'm stuck in them. I can't move. <laughs> Welcome to the new phase. To the new phase. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the new, new phase. phase. To the new phase. Dang. How the heck you land those? This is pretty hard parries. <laughs> Maybe uh, let's just give this one more try. Lie or die. Lie or die. Guess I'll I die. I guess I'll lie. I'm gonna lie about having died there. <laughs> Here comes the Pope. All dressed and nope. <laughs> I like that joke. Oh, what? he gets a hitbox oh. coming up? That was interesting. Look you in the air too. I'm just going to fight. Yeah, we are. All right, let's go there. This isn't going anywhere. Okay, looks good. Ha, 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 ha,